exclusive uh, insight on was the HP buying uh, Vertica acquisition. Um, and I asked HP, talked to some people uh, off the record, talked to HP um, on the record. They had a few comments. They wouldn't tell us how much they paid for the acquisition, but apparently HP bought Vertica, Bill Ricca Mass Company, for an undisclosed amount of money. They did say um, that it wasn't material from a financial standpoint to report, which means they won't tell and it's too low. It's not a big number. But it also it speaks volumes about HP. HP's analytics strategy is changing. Their new CEO is on board. He's from SAP, gets software. So this is an interesting uh, gesture from HP, an actual purchase, because it forces them to execute the enterprise analytics play, which really is not about data warehousing. It's about uh, uh, in analytics as a platform. So information management is a key market for HP. This is forcing them to execute. Um, HP considers Vertica to be a leading technology-enabled real-time business analytics analytics. Um, they see the acquisition of 300 customers in real time as a key value, and obviously that's the customer. But really, it, it forces HP to sunset their NeoView product, um, and uh, they won't tell us how much they paid for it. And, and the big question I asked was, will they be sold through HP channels? And they said uh, really no comment there, and that they did also did not comment that they would sell an appliance. So as you know, the, in the Oracle market, appliances are hot. HP would be very uh, hard-pressed not to sell an appliance. So um, that's that. And uh, HP is going to be forced to deal with that. Dave Vellante, researcher at Wikibon, had some interesting comments. I'll read them here. Um, Dave felt that the business angle was uh, there's been a run on next-gen database companies. HP claims it is number six worldwide in the software space. Uh, this is woeful. And Leo clearly has an agenda to beef up HP software IP. The market angle for HP is a critical piece of uh, IP that will allow them to integrate its hardware and compete with Oracle. So that's ultimately the real tech angle is going after the, you know, the bundled uh, IP with hardware. I think that's going to be something that's going to come from, uh, from HP. And also, Vertica has also pushed databases into VMware, and, and that's going to be obviously the virtualization play. So you know, HP um, is going to have to figure that out, and uh, you know, that's kind of the enterprise news that we get, we're close to on the yeah. cloud side is uh, this business analytics. Um, but you know, the data is a hot market. Big data and information analytics is one of the hottest topics, and we've had on the, the Cube and here on SiliconANGLE TV, um, ClickFox CEO, um, uh, Marco Pacelli talking about data, and I don't know if you have you heard of ClickFox at all. I've not heard. Of um, they're a company in New York, and they basically mine the big data from all these consumer companies okay. like Sprint right. and, and folks have huge call centers, right. and they basically look for DNA patterns of consumer behavior, <laughs> and can show a customer experience throughout multiple dimensions. Uh -huh and then provide that feedback. So they're the only company on the web that I've found that are actually mining data analytics and kind of developing with it right. versus this big old data warehouse. So you know, the extraction point for that HP announcement is pretty, pretty important, even though it's kind of boring enterprise kind of stuff, is that the data warehouse model, which was once this fenced off, closed operation, now is really prime time for developers. And you're seeing the smartest developers actually leveraging the data to do that. And obviously we're at Cloudera here, the home of Hadoop. Um, we're the home of big data, so that's a big trend, and we're watching that pretty closely. Well, I know. I mean, we we survey and we mine data from our customer base all the time. It gives us so much information about the things that we're doing well, the things that we're not doing well, and 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 really guides us. Uh, I mean, we're we're a very data data hungry company, and actually use that a lot in our everyday development and and design of our products and and our services. So I think that I mean. Uh, understanding customer data is, is What do you scrolling. say to folks out there that, that haven't unlocked the, the data mining side of it? I mean, really unlocked it. I mean, they, everyone says, hey, we got data. But sometimes it just sits around kind of not really doing anything. Well, I, I, think, I think that the people just, they do it to kind of make themselves feel like they're maybe on the right path to something instead of actually using it. So I would, I would urge people to actually, to actually use it. I mean, it's, it's, it's the best information you get in, in real time to understand uh, the things that you need to improve on, uh, both in the current products as well as in future products and, and help you guide it yourself. So, I mean, I think that uh, data is critically important in, in this day and age. No